here is another example we're doing n channel mosfet how do we know it is n channel as i mentioned if the arrow is going out on the i mean the arrow is always on the source side if the arrow is going out that is n channel mosfet if the arrow is going in that's a p channel mosfet we don't know somehow n channel mosfets are more famous than the p channel mosfet same as the npn transistor now another important point um, i have been stressing this ig is always zero the gate current is always zero no matter what because there is an insulation here it won't allow any current there now since ig is zero my vg must be 12 volts the voltage at that point must be 12 volts now we'll start solving the example by assuming this transistor is working in saturation mode in saturation mode the drain current so we know that drain current and source current both of them are same because there is no gate current so equation for the drain current id equal to half kn prime width over length times vgs minus vt whole square okay um i know kn prime times width over length i know vt value i don't know vgs value but VGS, when it comes to VGS, I can write VG minus VS. I know VG value, which is 12 volts. We just found here because that's the given voltage. Since there is no voltage drop here because there is no current passing through it, the voltage here must be 12 volts. Okay. So VG is 12 volts. VS, do I know? I don't know. But I can find VS is nothing but since ID is IS, I can say this current is ID, so Vs must be ID times 4K. If I take IDs in milliamperes, um, I can cancel the 4K. So let me take, assume ID in milliampere. Okay, so it's going to be 12 minus 4 ID. And if you look at Kn prime times width over length, there is a milli there. So even I can take this as a milliampere. So ID equal to half times 2 times VGS is 12 minus 4 ID and VT is 1 whole square. So everything is in milliampere. Okay. So we'll end up with ID equal to 11 minus 4 ID whole square. Okay, it's a quadratic equation i'm sorry square is right here so it's a we'll end up with quadratic equation the equation we have is 16 id square minus minus 88 id plus 121 equal to id so if i bring that id on the other side we'll end up with 16 id square minus uh, if i bring this id to the other side minus 89 id plus 121 equal to zero so it's a quadratic equation solve for id we'll end up with id1 as 3.197 milliampere and id2 equal to 2.36 milliampere so i'm going to take I mean assume I mean we have to find out which one is the right answer so there is a possibility both I mean one of them is going to write for sure sure it's not going to work for both both currents and it, it may not work for both currents too um, so we'll figure it out so ID equal to 3.197 milliampere so if id equal to 3.197 milliampere what is the source voltage vs must be 4k times id okay so 4 times 3.197 milliampere that is 12.78 volt same thing vd drain voltage is 12 minus 5k um 12 minus 5k times id so VD equal to 12, min 12 minus 5K times ID. 
based on this we'll end up with this is um, minus 3.98 volts see your drying voltage is less than the source voltage that means that means the current supposed to flow in the opposite direction which never happens okay so that is this current is not possible let me take id 2 equal to 2.36 milliampere then vs equal to 4k times id2 that value is will end up with 9.46 volts because id is 2.36 milliampere now vd equal to 12 minus 5k times 2.36 milliampere okay we'll end up this as 0.175 volt still my drain voltage is less than the source voltage that indicates that the current is flowing from source to drain okay because drain i have point um point one seven eight here and here the voltage is like uh, 9.46 so source voltage is higher than the drain voltage it is not possible to have higher or current flowing from drain to source so both cases our analogy i mean our resolution is wrong so definitely this transistor is not working in uh, saturation mode now we're going to solve this by assuming this transistor is in triode mode okay so in triode mode okay in triode mode of operation id has a different equation id equal to k n prime width over length times vgs minus vt um, times vds minus half vds square that's a different formula in triad mode of operation i know k n prime times width over length i think that value is given as so this value is given as 2 milliampere Two milliampere per volt square and now vgs we have to find that value vg minus vs minus vt whole square times vds minus half vds square vg we just found i mean vg value is is not going to change that's 12 volts and vs i can write it as 4id so here milli i'm taking ids in milliampere so i can ignore that milli so two times vg is 12 minus vs is four times id minus vt is one whole square vds i don't know yet um but i can find vds my apology made a mistake here it's not square there no square there no square there my apology now i need to find vds which is vd minus vs okay vd i can write i mean we just found vd that this is the voltage at the drain vd is 12 minus 5k id and vs 4k times id so vd i can write it as um so vds vd minus vs vd is 12 minus 5k id if i take id is in milli so i can ignore the kilo uh, minus vs i can write it as what is the drain resistance 4k okay this must be 4k or 4 id okay this is right there this is right here now minus half whole this whole thing square so minus 12 minus 9 id whole square okay now this is the equation so now i have one unknown unknown one equation so we'll end up with id equal to 
uh, end up with a negative 1.504 milliampere and id equal to 1.266 milliampere here again we are taking id is uh, negative that indicates that the current is flowing from source to drain okay n channel mosfet the current always flows from drain to source current has to go in this direction if we end up with a negative number anyway we solved we started solving the example by assuming current direction in that direction so if you end up with the id as a negative number that means the current is flowing in the opposite side which is not possible so id definitely not a negative number so if i take id equal to 1.266 milliampere now i can find vs vs equal to um, id times 4k the resistance connected here must be 4k um, that's what we have um, that's what in the given circuit that's 4k and that one is 5k okay so this is 4k id is 1.266 milliampere times 4k i end up with uh, this value as 5.06 volt and vd is 12 minus 5k times id that's 5.67 volts so vds is 5.67 minus 5.06 so this value is 0 0.606 volt and vgs is 12 minus 5.06 this is 6.36 volt and VGD we have 12 minus 5.67 volt that's 6.33 volt okay so what is VGD as long as your VGD is greater than VT threshold voltage then that is triode mode of operation I have VGD as 6.33 volts and VT is 1 volt that's a given value um, where is that value right here which equal to 1 volt that's in the given data so based on this I can tell this transistor is working in the triode mode of operation or triode region of operation I'll stop it here thank you